Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you love to shop Lux, welcome. Every week I upload two new videos on designer handbags, shoes, and accessories to help you decide whether or not you want that item to be a part of your collection. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a new video. Also, please follow me on Instagram at shoplux, which I will link it down below. So today I'm going to do a tag video. I was tagged by Always Antoinette. If you haven't checked her channel, please do. She's an amazing, amazing YouTube creator. She has very informative videos and you're gonna love her content in her channel. Um, also, this is a tag video which is called My Handbag Deal Breaker Tag. And also in this tag, I'm going to be showing you my least used bags because um, which I learned my lesson before like when I go to this store I don't really research on bags that I should be buying when I walk into this store I just look around and just buy whatever I want at that point so after buying the bag um, I feel good going home and then I wait for occasions I wait for for travels that I'd be able to use the bag only to realize that the bag that I bought um, although it's really nice it didn't work out for my needs so let's go ahead and get right into it the first handbag deal breaker for me is the price most of the bags that I really like and that's why I still don't have them until now is because of the expensive price of those bags usually I keep a list uh, my wish list and I try to look for deals I usually go to Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom, Saks Fifth Avenue, and see if the items in my wish list are on sale. It's because um, buying designer items are really expensive, and it helps a lot if there are points or rewards points. Um, also, like I always take advantage of the Neiman Marcus sale. Um, they always have this um, the gift card option the cashback option that you can use towards your next purchase. So I'm always looking forward to those events. And okay, this um, bag, it's called the Chanel GST. Um, I really love it and I bought this from my own money. It's the first bag that I bought using my money, but I've been babying it because um, it's just too expensive. I wasn't able to get a... Um, I wasn't able to get a discount on this so it's very seldom that I use it and plus it's a tote my tendency is to fill it up and bring the what ifs in my bags um, things that I don't really need but I just keep filling it up so um, I think that it's too expensive for me to just go to the store and use it it's like it's not but although it's really beautiful it's my favorite it's my baby but um, because of the price, I don't really use it. And the second deal breaker for me are, this, are the big and heavy bags. I am a small bag person. And if I'm, one example is this big tote. I call this a mommy bag. This is a Prada tote. I like it because it has a shoulder strap and it's a handheld bag. Even if it's really beautiful, the color is really beautiful and the leather is really nice. Um, I don't really reach for this because as it is, it doesn't have anything inside. It's already heavy. I only have bubble wraps inside to keep its shape. But once you put stuff inside it, it's so heavy and it hurts my shoulder. And I already had a shoulder. I already had a shoulder surgery uh, from a previous accident, so I'm really staying away from big and heavy bags. Also, when I carry a big bag, the tendency is for my kids to say, "Mommy, can I put my stuff in there? Can I put my toys? Can I put my snacks?" And also, sometimes my husband would also ask me to put his wallet inside it, or his shades, or or his heavy keys it's like um it's gonna be i have like my bag is already heavy and they keep putting their stuff inside so 
I try to stay away from heavy and big bags. The third deal breaker for me are white or light colored bags. I've always wanted to have white or um, the, especially the pink bags or light blue bags, but um, I really, I, I am not really careful with my bags. Uh, I would always, and I love to wear um, black pants or jeans and I'm always afraid that it's gonna have um, this it's going to discolor the bag or color transfer um, one example um, it's a Celine runway I don't know but it, I don't know the name for this but it's a uh, runway bag from Celine you see how it's really nice and I got this bag maybe two years ago but I haven't really used it I really like it. So the problem with this bag, it has a color transfer already. Even if I haven't used it, it's just because of this item, of this belt bag. So even if it's so pretty, it's like I would always reach for my the Saint Laurent wallet and chain because it's taupe color, it's light, but um, it's not as light as this. But I'm always planning to buy um, but I always wanted to have a pink, a baby pink bag because it's really, it really looks cute. The blush colored bags, they're really cute. So maybe I have to plan my outfit with those kinds of bags so that I'd be able to, so it's gonna work out for me. Okay, so the fourth deal breaker is if the bag is too small. Um, if the phone, if my phone doesn't fit in the bag, then I would not buy it anymore because I don't wanna be um, walking around the store or going somewhere holding my phone because I might lose it. I'm not, I'm not very careful with my stuff, so I want everything inside my bag. Um, this bag, it is very small. This is the belt bag, Ophidia, Gucci Ophidia belt bag. It almost did not um, make it to my collection, but because it was on sale, it, um, I got it like 400 um, from from Nordstrom I think because my sister was the one who bought this for me um, when I got this it was on sale so the price is right but I asked my sister when she was buying this for me when she was at the store to just because uh, we have the same phone uh, I told her can you try to put in your phone if it fits then then it, it's gonna work out for me so my iPhone XR fit in it so and which I did an, an unboxing video on this before. Um, everything fit, all my essentials fit in here. So it made it to my collection. I was choosing between this and the Gucci Super Mini, what is that called? The Gucci Super Mini Dionysus. That is such a cute bag um, because I've seen a lot of videos. They said that you can use it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. Um, and you can also use it as a belt bag. You just, um, there's a chain, I think, inside, and you can use it as a belt bag. But I'm not sure if it's gonna fit on my waist, but iPhone XR doesn't fit in there. It's very small, and the leather is too, is too stiff. It's like, there's no, you cannot really stretch it for your phone to fit. Or if your iPhone fits, then I won't be able to put other things in it. So that's a deal breaker for me, small bags. And the last deal breaker for me are those nylon printed, uh, what else, tweed bags or those um, fuzzy bags. Although they're very, very cute, um, I won't be able, uh, like the Chanel bag, the tweed, Chanel tweed bag, I just don't know the name for that bag. Um, I've seen it in a lot of reviews and it very it really really looks nice um, but for me because I'm not very careful with bags I don't think um, it will suit me so this bag which I don't really use a lot um, it's a Prada tote it's printed um, it's a nice summer bag or a travel bag because it's very light and you have um, a shoulder strap but if I am wearing a printed uh, top or it's not gonna it's got it's not gonna match so I would always pick the outfit that I'm gonna wear for this to match 
So, and also if it gets dirty, I don't know if I could wash this in the, if I could throw this in the washing machine or if it says spot clean, I don't think it's gonna be cleaned very well. So I'd rather stay with leather bags or the canvas bags, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag, because it's very light. And even if it has um, a print on it, like the Dame Eben or the monogram, um, it is still neutral color and will still match outfits, even if you're wearing a print top or whatever color you're wearing. But with this kind of print, um, I don't know. I don't think this will match with a striped shirt or if you're wearing a striped shirt. So that's my fifth deal breaker. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all my friends on the next one. Bye!